right away There's so much to see Don't worry, I know the trails, I know the way I called a gentle horse His eyes are big and brown So today we're riding part of a different trail. This is Spruce Creek Trail, so... So we got private trail, no guided rides, private trail, riders at the owner, there's no ATV. So this, these trails will connect you with the um, trails at Big South Fork. So anyway, this is just a little trail, beautiful down here in the woods today. Surprisingly, the trails have a, a lot are sandy in places, but then really rocky in others. So it's like you definitely have to have front shoes, but I'd almost say all the way around. Because we've had some horses with just front shoes and they're a little bit tender after a day's ride yesterday. So now we're here at the trail intersection. We got the TP loop and two uh, Proctor Ridge, and we'll choose one of them. I don't know which one we're going on yet. Alright, good girl. Don't don't eat it. I just want you to touch it. <laughs> So like I said, on this particular ride, you go right through uh, quite a few um, horse properties and that sort of thing. But it's a nice little short ride. It'll make a loop. We'll hit the um, paved road and go back up the paved road to True West Campground. And we're just doing a short little loop today because it's um, really almost raining. And it's going to start pouring rain here in the next couple hours, possibly. So we. Didn't want to get too far from camp and get caught out in the rain today. So, anyway, um, yeah, it's a pretty nice little small short loop, but a nice little ride. The cattle were scattered for miles across the plain. I know there was blowing and trucking the rain. Out on the high mesas while searching for stream. We rode at a high low for home to be And we made a big circle and brought them all down to the coolies and draws to the big round that train. The river was rising from three days of rain. We brought them through to the headquarters ring. So it's just a short ride on this loop down the paved road. A pretty good shoulder that you can get off of the road and that sort of thing off. And then you're gonna wind up back here at True West. So take two days in my Ah, she's all right. <laughs> We found the shelter where we're safe and warm. We partnered up. So there's a covered wagons here at True West and the teepees. Better look at them. At the headquarters range. Yes, we partnered up, girl, and I like the chain. I feel at home at the headquarters. This is day three of our trip to Big South Fort. 
and True West Campground and um, we're heading out today not exactly sure where we're going yet but as soon as we find out I'll let y'all know anyhow yo, this is some of the crowd with us back there and we've been having a great weekend so anyhow y'all just hang on and the trail up through here is not marked very well but there is a path you can see the path the horses have been going on uh, along this uh, roadbed cut in here anyhow so we're going to continue this way see if we can pick up some yellow paint or painted marked trail anyhow so <laughs> let's see what happens so we've been riding it just looks like they're making another Horse community or development here, there's a lot of tracks of five, six acres, three and a half acres for sale. And uh, so far the trail just runs alongside the road here. We'll see, hopefully we drop back down in the woods because this isn't what I came up here for, to be honest with you. But yeah, let's see what happens. We've done the pretty rock formations here. We're back down in the woods. It's a little bit nicer. And like I said, this is the Wildcat Den Trail, and uh, these are private trails, so they're not marked quite as good as the National Forest Trails or the Big South Fork Trails. And uh, so anyhow, uh, they're um, they're nice trails once you get out from the developments and all the houses and stuff. And we've got a big rock here, and the stream just goes underneath it. We'll be crossing that in just a minute. Like I always do I sang every one of the love songs for you And then I climbed right back on him And I spurred him away And as the cheers and the dust from the arena did fade I didn't feel like no cowboy anymore Anyway He was a big sorrow girl Wildcat Den Trail now. So I'm hoping, I'm thinking this makes a loop. Oh, good. See, now the nice thing about these trails are they have they have these little signages here. So we'll be able to stop and find out exactly where we are. That'll be cool. Drawn and reduced to tears. He's done his best thinking with his hand in the rigging for years. He's got an old truck. 
of his saddle He won back in 75 He's getting too old to travel He's lucky he's even alive Well he's a bucket horse rider And he likes him a little wilder You can tell just by looking, though he'd be the last one to boast. Unless he's been drinking, but hell, he's been dry now for months. He's a bucking horse rider, he won down at Penn. thing about this trail the tp trail is he just rides right you know through the housings the houses and stuff they have little trails <clears throat> that'll take you right through these properties but it's nice that they you know have the connecting trails to go from place to place because there's a lot of horse people up this way so. So the Spruce Creek Trail Association maintains all these trails that we've been on today. Like I said, it's a private trail. They're nice trails. Um, I think we would have done, enjoyed a little more if we'd had a little better map to know where we are and how much time we had to get back and around today. But anyhow, it's been a been an enjoyable ride. They do a really good job. Spruce Creek does a good job of maintaining them and that sort of thing and it's really nice um, lucky bunch of people to be living and have this many trails in their backyard and that kind of thing so anyhow there's nothing like a good one between your knees light to the rain willing to please together as one the day will be done on a good one I'll find my way home the world looks better from up on the throne Strapped to the top side of muscle and bone. Below me. All right, y'all. Well, we're finishing up our trip to uh, True West Campground and Big South Fork in Tennessee. And overall, it was a great experience. The, um, the trails were nice. Um, I, we didn't see a lot of stuff that we probably would like to have seen. Um, and that is probably... That is the only negative thing I can say about staying at True West is you're a long ways from a lot of the really interesting things. You're going to have to ride 15, 20 miles a day to uh, get to really see the kind of cool stuff that we were sort of wanting to see. Like if you wanted to cross the river on the Trussell Bridge, you know, that, that's going to be like a 20 mile ride, round trip ride for the day. And... Um, so you know we we did a we did some riding on some of the local trails up there now the trail association that look after those trails do a great job those trails are really nice the only drawback with those trails are you're riding between people's farms and houses and that's not what i drove up there for um so uh that's the only negative thing i can say other than that the people at true west are really super nice the facility is super nice the barn I thought was very nice. All the shavings you could use to put in a stall was no problem. Them cleaning your trailer out when you get there, very nice. Um, the water and electric worked as it should. And like I said, it was a really great experience staying at True West. And 
if you're looking to ride on that end, I would definitely look True West up because it was a great facility to stay. So anyhow, y'all remember, y'all be good to one another and do something nice for somebody. This is Cowboy Greg from Single Oak Farm in Trinity reminding you to hit that like and subscribe button. Bye.